And welcome to our latest collaboration vlog. Now normally we do these collaborations with just us two, yeah. um, but the dogs decided they wanted to be involved too this time. And apparently it's Love Your Pet Day, so uh, we thought we'd get them involved. Yeah, so hit that like button and give our pets some love. Yeah. This is part of a YouTube collaboration group. The collaborators will be linked in the description below. Also, their logos will be whizzing by on the screen somewhere. I never know what side I'm going to put them. I'll have to look for space when I edit. Anyway, this week's collaboration is the five things that drive us mad on campsites. Okay, so the first thing that winds us up on a campsite is when they don't have an enclosed area for these girls. Exactly. I mean, we can always take them for a local walk around the area, but... I like to give them a little off-lead exercise so they can burn off some energy and they're not pissed in the van. So yeah, it's always a must for us. And we have been to some great places mm. um, where they've had enclosed areas. Yeah. thing that winds us up on a campsite is when they charge you extra for the dogs when we're going anyway and even more so than that when they charge you extra for an awning exactly and it's normally a ridiculous amount just for putting an awning up yeah i mean we like to take our awning but when you've already paid for the pitch mm. and you don't need a bigger pitch yeah. to put the awning up why do they charge you extra for an awning? I don't understand it, and it's not fair. What are you doing? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the third thing that winds us up on campsites is when there's a cockerel that wakes you up at ridiculous o'clock in the morning. I mean, these two wake me up at a ridiculous time in the morning, but not quite as ridiculous as a cockerel. No, um, I think it was three o'clock we got woken up by a cockerel at a pub stop that we stayed at in Wendon's Ambo. <laughs> yeah. Check this out. They didn't tell us about the cockerel at four o'clock in the morning. I think there might be two. what they hate about campsites yeah well we didn't know they were going to sit here nicely so i, I suppose getting we're involved, getting involved yeah. tessie what don't you like on campsites can you tell daddy uh -oh. tessie says she doesn't like it when mummy and daddy go away with to campsites without her <laughs> Moving on. right claire what do you think to this one No, we've stayed there before and that is not fat. Oh no, I remember. Yeah, <laughs> that was on one heck of a hill. 
Okay then, Claire, what about this one? No, it's grass. They're only doing grass pitches. Look, I know dogs get mucky when they go on walks, but when you've only got grass, you can't actually get them dry and stuff to put in the van. You need gravel. But they're all grass. And that is point number four. We don't like it when you go to look at a site and they've only got grass pitches or they've got pitches that are on a ridiculous slant. What would it take to level them off? The fifth and final thing that winds us up on a campsite is when you go into the shower block and the showers don't stay on. They've got those little buttons that pop out just like you get in the swimming pool. So you can't leave it on, uh, you have to keep pressing it. Keep pressing it. And sometimes the uh, temperature's not up to scratch either, is it? Yeah, you can't change the, the temperature on those ones either. baking hot. <laughs> but there is a particular reason why this impacts me personally. Mm. And in this clip, Claire is gonna explain why. 69, 70. David has to count to 88 before he allows himself to get out of the shower. 71, 72, 73. So we've been having a conversation and we've decided to give you a bonus one that winds us up on campsites as well. And that is when you have an early checkout. Yeah. So sometimes you've got to check out at 10 o'clock in the morning and the next people are not checking in till two. Seriously, what are they doing for four hours on the pinch? I reckon, you know those handheld vacuum cleaners like we've got in the camper van? I think they go over the whole of the picture of one of them. It takes them like three or four hours to do. Unnecessary. Seriously. You should do check out at 12 and then the next check in at half past 12. That's all you need. <laughs> it's the last morning of our Isle of Wight adventure and we're up at Culver Down because I just love this view. So I needed to see it one more time. Um, but also, David's going to tell you why he's actually washing up our breakfast dishes at Culverdale and not on the campsite. Well, I thought what better place to do the washing up than with a view like that. Okay, now tell them the real reason. Right, we had to get off the sh site pretty sharpish. And why is that? Well, they found out where we were from, didn't they? <laughs> no, I'm only joking. Um, so we made a little mistake with we? the dark. Well, yes, all right. So I made a little mistake with the checkout time. I read 12 o'clock, but 12 o'clock was the check-in time. We were supposed to check out at 10 o'clock and at quarter past 10, we were sitting there having our breakfast whilst they were mowing the lawn around us. <laughs> so we thought we'd better get out sharpish and go and do the washing up somewhere else. So we chucked everything in the van quickly and uh, yeah. But all's well that ends well, look at that view. Yeah, it is stunning. So finding five things that wind us up on a campsite was quite difficult for us because we really enjoy it, don't yeah. we? And it's all part of parcel, isn't it? So it's all a bit tongue in cheek. You know, they're not major things that annoy us. We'd still no. go even if these things were there. Yeah. So. And if you've watched any of our campsite tours, we always try and be really positive about the places we go. So yeah, we had to think quite deep about it. So a few of them are humorous, a few yeah. of them are little niggles. But anyway, it's this is obviously, yeah, it is a bit of fun. And that's what this collab group is all about. It's all about fun. So I've put at the top of the screen the logos of everyone else that's involved. I'm going to go through that again. Their links are down below in the description. Please do check out their versions of this video. And thanks for watching. And we shall see you soon, see shall you we? See you soon. We're going to wave. Say bye, Tessie. Say bye, Tessie. <laughs> She's not talking now. Please click on the playlist to see the other videos in this collab group. Alternatively, you can also find on this screen links to the videos shown in this video.